Well, let's actually look at the editor. If we're going to uh, be working with content on a website, we're probably going to work a lot with pages. And uh, we can do that by clicking pages. And if we wanted to add a new page, we could do that here. But we're going to edit and just show you um, how a page works with existing content. Let's first go to the About page. And uh, that's right here. You'll notice when I mouse over the About that we have other options here that appear. Edit quick edit, trash, or view. And uh, view will open the page in a new window. Trash will delete the page, um, or put it in a queue for deletion, actually, right up here. You'll see trash, so all the pages that I've trashed are in here um, before I uh, delete. Uh, we can edit and quick edit, which um, uh, we don't use very often. Uh, but uh, I'm going to click edit here. And we'll see that the editor in WordPress actually allows us to see what the text is going to look like on our uh, website pages. So if I go to the website, the About page, you'll see uh, that the content I've entered in here, in the back end, is exactly what shows up on the home or on the uh, on that page. Uh, so I can change what appears on this page simply by typing that content in. Um, so if I type Three Rivers Home Health Services uh, is great because they offer direct in home. We'll click update. And we'll see what we have here is Three Rivers Home Health Services offers direct in-home care. But if we refresh the page, we'll see the new content that I just added is great because they offer uh, new content that I just added shows up here. I'm going to uh, revert that back. Um, So nobody gets upset with me. So we'll go back and update that page again just to make sure it looks good and that looks correct. Now there are several items on uh, in this editor uh, that we want to go over. Uh, first of all, down in the bottom left, uh, bottom right hand corner, uh, this window is so small. And it's meant to be to uh, conserve space so we can work with other things on this page. Um, but for the most part, I just work uh, in this area here on, you know, on a regular basis. So I want to make that a little larger. So I'm going to drag that bottom right corner here um, to here, let's say. And, uh, and then I can work with the entire page content or you know, however that needs to work. Um, you'll also see a toolbar at the top with items that I can work with. If you don't have two rows of icons, you can hit this button, Show Hide Kitchen Sink, and it will show or hide that second row. And uh, this first row is usually things that people use more often, but I like to use some of these other items too. Uh, some items you can use to work with your content work just like Word. If we highlight something, for instance, and bold it, we could do that. Or we could italicize. And you'll notice as I'm doing these things, as I'm clicking these buttons, um, that it works uh, immediately. And then if we were to update and then go to our page, then uh, we would see those changes uh, take an effect. Uh, we do strike through if we wanted. Uh, we could do numbered lists or bulleted lists. We could also classify a section as a quote and you'll see here that it will indent that text and sometimes it formats things a little bit differently uh, maybe a gray background behind this text or something like that to draw attention I'm going to leave that alone if we wanted to indent text without formatting it as a block quote 
without that gray background or whatever that uh, would be, we can go here and indent as much as we'd like. Um, that's just one way of, of managing that. Next, we can align text to the right, the middle, and left. This is default. We can link text to other pages or other websites. If we were to link to msn.com, for instance, uh, we could do so. So when people click that preference for people, we would be taken to msn.com. Now, if we're linking people away from our current website, then I think it's important to open that page in a new window. So we'd open MSN in a new window so that people don't navigate away from my site. A lot of times people open the same window that they get to MSN and they don't remember where they were before. Um, so you can do that by setting a target to open in a new window. Now default, if we left that blank, would just open in the same window. So it's important if you do want that, opening in a new window, if you are linking away from your own personal site, uh, then open in a new window and insert. And you will see that text is now underlined. And we can't click that until we update that. But when we, if we were to update this page now, uh, you'd see that link is would be active. People could click that and uh, actually be navigated to msn.com. Uh, let's say I change my mind. I no longer want uh, this text to be a link. I can just break that link here. Unlink. One little nuance about uh, editing text in the website browser is if I were to highlight this whole row in one fell swoop, um, you'll notice this is highlighted, but it hasn't activated that link button. You have to highlight text before you can link it. But also, if I've done a uh, control shift and then arrow over to select an entire row or something, then it's also selecting that line in break. Um, so we're going to I'm going to hold down the shift button and hit the uh, arrow left. And you'll see that my uh, highlighting uh, just shrunk by one space, and then we can link that text. So again, placing the cursor somewhere, these links, uh, these uh, buttons will be grayed out. You can't select them because you have to choose something to link first. Then when you select certain text, then you can link it. Uh, we can spell check as we're up here. We can select different formats for our text um, according to CSS styling. We can underline text. We can full justify. We can change text color. I would use that sparingly. Uh, we can copy and paste text from Word remove formatting and I'm going to click that so you can see that yes this text was bright orange blaze orange saves lives uh, and then I can remove formatting here um, these other items here uh, we don't work with a whole lot but uh, a couple more things we could do uh, a lot of people like to put images into their uh, uh, their website into that content area and so we can do that with these items up here next to upload insert this first item here is add an image the next item will allow you to add video next is to add audio and then add media and a media could be anything from uh, audio video uh, image or PDF documents if you want to add those as a resource. If you want to add other resources that people could download, um, then you could do that through this button. Uh, I will show you really quickly how to do that. 
So I'm clicking to add media file from my computer. I'm going to select files and let's go to pictures. I'm going to just choose something fun that we think people will be interested in seeing. So here's a image that we're going to upload. You'll see here the uh, dimensions right now is 640 by 477. Those are the default uh, dimensions of the image. And that's pretty big to go on one page. So we might want to edit some, uh, some settings down here. Uh, the title of the image would be bike trip alternate text. For some reason, if the internet browser couldn't load that image, uh, we could it could load text instead. A caption, do we want the picture to say anything underneath? Um, let's do that really quickly so you can see what that does. Um, a description, we usually leave that blank. Alignment, do we want that aligned left? Do we want it aligned right? I'll choose right just so you can see what that looks like. Uh, then medium, do we want it full size? Do we want thumbnail? A thumbnail will place an image about this size um, and then when you click that thumbnail it will open the full image. Um, I'm just going to leave it as a smaller image, medium, let's say, um, and insert that into post. And you'll see here it's inserted that image and it placed that caption below the picture. That looks a little still still a little large um, to be on this page with so much copy. Uh, so I'm going to click that image. Let me go back here and edit. So let's say I want it a little smaller, 70% of the size that it was in the window. And let's say I change my mind, eh, I want it aligned to the left. We can update, and you'll see that it's moved the image to the left side. Now, the image was placed wherever I had the cursor at the time of my clicking this Upload Insert button. So you want to watch that. Um, let's say, after all, I uh, decided this image is not really all it cracked up to be. Not that many people are going to be interested in a guy on a motorcycle. So I'll delete that image, and we're back, right back where we started. One other tip, uh, this is a WYSIWYG editor, it's called, and uh, that acronym WYSIWYG stands for what you see is what you get. So if it looks bolded here and here, uh, then it's going to look bolded on the page when you update uh, that page. There's actual code in the back end um, that makes that happen. So if you're a developer uh, and you wanted to work with the actual HTML, you can see that code by clicking the HTML button. Um, most people are going to be more comfortable on the visual tab. So make sure you have this selected if you are more comfortable with that way. Um, that concludes the uh, review of the editor.